Hey everyone, it's Vanessa. So this week I thought it would be fun to film a little week in my life or a few days in my life. So it is my birthday kind of this week, so I have a few things planned. I know the whole COVID-19 thing and coronavirus has kind of like messed up a few of the things that we were supposed to do, but I will get into that in later days. But right now I'm just heading home. We're having like a little family birthday party tonight. So today is Saturday, March 14th. My birthday is the Monday, March 16th. But yeah, so that is kind of what is up in today's video and today's vlog. But let me give you a little outfit of the day. I, I see you. I'm trying to film my intro. I'm not, not impressed. So my shirt is from Brandy Melville. My skirt is from Aritzia, I believe. And we are just heading out right now. So we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Once I got here, Alan and I ended up going back out to get balloons because she, my mom forgot to get balloons. So we just ran out to the dollar store to grab balloons and sushi. And now we're just kind of waiting for other people to get here. And we'll come say hi to people. We got nice little happy birthday thing there. And this sweetheart, we're at the grocery store and he gets me roses, and roses are my favorite flower, so. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's coming out to see you. I can't do this for There must be something about the features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. I think my own stitches out in two weeks. To you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, when you want to learn that song. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Two, one. Oh, I didn't get all of them. There you go. Yay! Woo! Watch your teenager. Stop! Tell us what this beautiful cake is, Mom. It is a lemon raspberry cheesecake. And what is your specialty? Cheesecake? Yes. <laughs> mm. He could point it up. So it went bad the first time. Oh, you're good. You're good. Here we go. I need a glass. Happy 19th. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> it's, it's not pink. Yes. A, oh, yeah, a little bit. So, for those of you, huh? Oh, it almost went over. It's good. For those of you in the states that don't know, the drinking age in Canada is 19, so this is technically like my legal birthday. So, good morning, guys. So today is March 16th. It's my actual birthday. I am heading downtown to meet up with Alan. Um, I'm already kind of on the go, so I'm gonna head out and I'll kind of just update you guys on everything as I'm going. At least on the positive side of all this, it's a beautiful sunny day outside today. And I know with all COVID-19 and everything going on, a lot of you are probably gonna criticize me for why isn't she self-isolating? Why isn't she staying at home? And I am someone who this entire thing has really been affecting my mental health and so for my own sake I need to go out every so often like every other day every two days to have some sense of normalcy and just feel like everything is okay before my mental health takes even more of a hit than it already has been and you should know if you struggle with mental health I'm sure you, you feel the same like I found out yesterday that my gym is closing for a little bit. That's kind of one of my big like stress relievers and anxiety relievers taken away from me already. So just being able to go out and have like a normal day is really important to me. And 
yeah, so I'm going and visiting Alan and we're gonna go get Starbucks and basically just study because all of my classes have been moved online, but we still have like classes and exams and tests. Universities and colleges still have school. But that is kind of what is happening right now. And originally like this week, we were going to go see an NBA game and we were gonna go up the CN Tower, both of which are now canceled because of all of this. So that's not happening. So I think we're still gonna end up going to the aquarium, but I'm not 100% sure. Yes, staying away from people, but also doing what's best for me and my mental health and making sure that's in check. So if you wanna criticize me, go ahead. But if you struggle with mental health, I'm sure you'll know and you'll understand. birthday we got free Starbucks because Starbucks gives free ones this is one of my fave things they put a little bit too much almond milk in but it's just a cold brew with sweet cream and hazelnut instead of vanilla and with a little bit of almond milk but they put a lot of almond milk so it doesn't even really look like coffee but it's really good and now we are just kind of in one of the library areas studying hey, hi we're just kind of studying for the day before I go home because I have a psych test in a week and a half, I think. So that's what's up. Happy to you. That's okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> that's funny. They got Alexa to sing me happy birthday on the TV. Happy birthday. Oh boy. So I come home from downtown today and not only are my grandparents playing happy birthday <laughs> to me on Alexa, but they got me sushi for dinner, which I think is so sweet, and I got Alan's flowers set up there. They got me this whole thing of sushi. They know I love sushi and I'm obsessed. And a little thing of miso soup from a local sushi place and I'm so excited for this, but sushi's literally my fave. It was just so cute and I'm so thankful for that and so happy so it's really was really nice to come home to after like a day of studying and kind of just freaking out a little bit about everything that's going on Alan and I found out that Ripley's is closing today so we can't do that this week so we might find something else to do tomorrow um, but I'll just keep updating you guys and see what happens everything is kind of just you know roll with the punches see what happens but I also came home to this gorgeous package from a self-care brand and so I just wanted to do a little unboxing real quick this is so cute they sent me this for my birthday but it's from this self-care brand called self-care fix and so they sent me their first product let me see if I can open it and this cute adorable note but then it's just a jade roller and gusha and I've been wanting one of these for a while. I had a crystal one, but I heard the jade ones are a little bit better for your skin. So I can't wait to try this out. I thought it would be kind of nice to do a little what I got for my 19th birthday. And also because I know this vlog has been pretty boring because a lot of the stuff that I was supposed to do and I had planned to do got cancelled because of all this COVID-19 mess. I thought this would kind of spice up the vlog a little bit and just add a little bit of extra for you guys to see of kind of my birthday because honestly not much went on because of everything that is going on right now. The first thing that I wanted to show you guys, my brother, what a sweetheart, got me chocolate covered almonds, literally my favorite thing in the world, and then another book by Sarah J. Ma. She is my favorite author. I absolutely adored the Court of Thorn and Roses series, so I'm excited to read this series. I also got her other new book, which is Crescent City, and it's so big and gorgeous, and I am so excited with all this mess to kind of do a little bit more reading, because even though I still have school and like my online classes start tomorrow, 
I'm gonna have a lot more free time so I'm actually gonna be able to read which is actually great you try and look at the positives of all this mess that's going on and you just go with it I also got two new sports bras so first one is this gorgeous lilac I don't even know if you can see that it's lilac but it is actually purple the light in here is not making it look purple this gorgeous lilac Nike one and then the second one is just this little gray Nike one and then I also got another pair of Nike leggings they're just three-quarter plain black cropped leggings which is great because I actually don't have any black leggings right now and then I had been asking for these for a while and we couldn't find them anywhere in Canada like they were almost 99% sold out but my mom was able to find a pair and they are the Nike Air Max 270s with the red pink on the bottom just the plain black and white ones I loved the ones that had like the oatmeal kind of color as well but like I said sold out everywhere but I wanted these to replace my Hirachis because I had worn those down to the ground like they had holes in the toes holes in the heels so I wanted these to be my new everyday shoe and I just thought they're pretty plain simple and still like comfy casual very very happy I got these I'm so surprised that my mom found them so very happy I also got a little Starbucks gift card. Um, my aunt and uncle know that I'm a student and, you know, coffee is kind of the only thing that keeps me going most days. So I'm so thankful for that. And then I got some clothes for an upcoming trip. I don't think I've actually told you guys on YouTube, but originally I had planned a trip beginning of May to be in London. Now with all this is going on, I'm really hoping it blows over by then and that I can still go. But I asked for some clothes for my trip well okay son but yeah so i asked for some clothes for that trip so i'm hoping i still get to go because that'll be my first trip like alone with no parents or anything um the first thing was this gorgeous bucket hat oh i'm wearing it sideways um i am obsessed with fuzzy bucket hats i think they're adorable but yeah it was just this little white fuzzy one that i really wanted and so it's so cute the next thing that i asked for for london i'd been wanting a pastel suit and was able to find this gorgeous yellow pastel suit set and it's kind of this tweedy material it's so beautiful and i really hope i get the chance to wear it but it's just this yellow and then it's got the matching tweed yellow skirt Okay, I hope that you can actually see it and it's not just like super overexposed but it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it and I really hope I get the chance to wear it got this little coach card holder I recently got a small purse and I only have a big wallet so I needed something just to fit some cards in it's just this gorgeous little coach card holder as well as money pouch like it's got the zipper at the top so that is great I'm so happy that I got this because I've been needing one of those so badly. I also got an original Grease record or like vinyl. Old 80s, 70s music is some of my favorite music. So I got an original Grease record and it's beautiful. Like it's in this plastic wrapping to protect it. But like this is like an original and uh, I am so grateful for this. Like it's amazing. The next thing I got was this Revlon hair dryer brush thing in one and I saw Julia Havens show this on I think it was either her Instagram or one of her vlogs I don't remember but she talks all the time about how she has really thin hair and it's very similar to mine so I was like you know what let me try that like let me get it I don't own a hair dryer because I normally let my hair air dry but I thought this looked really interesting and I'm excited to try it out and I'll report back to let you guys know if it actually works at all works well you know the last thing that I got was kind of like a last minute surprise sort of thing and I'm honestly like high-key low-key freaking out my grandparents got me an espresso machine and I've been talking about wanting an espresso machine probably since I started working at a cafe so like for the last three years yeah I finally got my own little mini espresso machine and I am so excited to use this I'm not a super avid coffee drinker but I love the occasional like latte cappuccino very 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 excited for this and honestly just everything I got this year was so amazing and I thank my family so much for 
everyone that got me something like overwhelmed with everything because I was not expecting that because I didn't really ask for much this year just I didn't really have much to ask for I was like it's okay like I don't need anything so I definitely was very surprised so I did decide I'm gonna set up my espresso machine with you guys I'm quite honestly not even sure yet where I'm gonna put this thing but let's figure out how it works first so in case some of you are wondering I just got a breville and it's the cafe Roma breville if you are interested at all it's one of the cheaper ones just because I just wanted to start out with like a little one just to get used to my own espresso machine because I'm used to like the big commercial one so we'll see how this goes <laughs> After reading this whole instruction manual, I'm gonna run through the cleaning process of this thing. I don't actually have any coffee beans yet. So I currently just have all the parts for the espresso machine, just soaking in some warm soapy water. But I just changed real quick and we are going to go do a Whole Foods run to see if I can get some pre-ground coffee or get like coffee freshly ground because I need coffee beans obviously to make an espresso. So we secured the coffee aisle. Now the question is, which one do I get? I know Balzac's is really good. And this one also looks interesting, but then there's also just the regular one here that is like, you can weigh out yourself, which I might do, because then I don't have to get a whole lot and I can just grind it and weigh it out and I'm a little confused. So I know for sure I'm gonna get an espresso blend, but there's lots of different notes, which I learned about, but there's lots of different like notes within them and I'm not quite sure what I want. why going to Whole Foods for me is like being like a kid in a candy store and I end up just wandering around and picking up random stuff to try. All right, I'm back home now, but I just wanted to show you which coffee I ended up getting. I want to try Balzac's at some point because I know it's really good and I've heard lots of good things about it, but I just got the Whole Foods kind of like their own brand one. It's the Allegro coffee brand and I got the medium espresso blend. So I'm excited to try this out. I think the one thing people don't realize about coffee is that when it's freshly ground, it makes your entire everything smell like coffee. Like because I was standing near the grinder, I just smell like coffee. My entire apartment smells like fresh ground coffee and I love it, but it smells everywhere and it's going to smell like this for a few days now. But it is too late now to make a coffee because it is like 5 p.m. and I don't need a coffee right now. So I will catch up with you guys in the morning and we will make a latte espresso with this new coffee. And I'm really excited to try this out.
good morning so there we have it my first latte with my new espresso machine so i just used the like vanilla unsweetened almond milk and i might need to add a little bit of like honey or something i'm not sure but this is really good and i'm so excited to keep using this so i'm gonna end off my birthday vlog here just because i don't think anything else is really happening this week in terms of stuff that's going on um and with everything covid19 everything going on i'll have a lot more other videos coming up soon hopefully but yeah thank you guys so much for watching thank you for all of your birthday wishes on instagram and in the comments that i'm sure are coming so thank you i'm so grateful for all of you and even with all this that is going on it's just important to remain positive look towards the little things that make you happy every day and yeah i'll definitely talk more about everything in future videos a lot of you have requested some chatty get ready with me's and stuff so i will definitely be updating you guys more on everything but thank you for all the love. I will hopefully see you in my next video. And I love you so much. Mwah. Bye.